What's up guys, Quezzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you guys some 2D banner filter effects. Um, so basically this is going to be used for uh, mainly 2D banners, you can use them for 3D banners, you can use them for wallpapers and a bunch of other things, you can use them for basically anything, uh, honestly. But um, yeah, so all you really need is Photoshop, you don't need anything special. and. Uh, the only way this will work like effectively is if you have some kind of cool uh, background to your banner. Uh, you don't need like a bar like I do here. This is just like part of the banner, but um, you just need some like cool thing like this here. Uh, if it has multiple colors, it looks best. If it has dark spots like here and light spots over here, it look, that's like when it looks good. But um, if it's just like a solid like green or something, um, most of these won't work very well. Uh, some of them will, a few. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into this. So, um, first one I'm gonna be showing you, you wanna merge everything, um, so, like, it's on one layer, like I do here. I don't have the bar merged, because I don't want these effects on the bar. So I just have everything behind it. So I'm gonna duplicate it, and this was actually in Evan Eckerd tutorial. Um, so, uh, this goes to him, uh, this is where I got this from, but you wanna go to Filter Pixelate, and mosaic and then you want the square cell size on 20 and then click OK and then on that same layer uh, you want to go to filter and stylize and find edges then it should turn mainly white and here you can uh, go to adjustments uh, where is it uh, I'm not really sure I don't do this but you can go to the adjustments panel somewhere um, okay, image adjustments and go to levels and you can change the levels um, so um, if I drag this down so they're more uh, like you can see the actual grid uh, lines but for this I don't like doing this because uh, well you for certain banners you're gonna have to because you're not gonna be able to see anything but in this one there's a lot of light on this side so it will work and it just looks good I think in my opinion but um, so I'm gonna do control I to inverse it um, and then you can see there's more lines, so it's not just that like those few and then you want to go to the um, um, What's it called the setting the ah, frick. I always know this before the tutorial and when I'm in the tutorial I forget it, but um, the setting of the layer, so we're gonna go to col color dodge um, That's really gonna bug me that I forgot that again, but um, whatever and then you can see it creates this cool grid effect um, it's kind of bright um, here it looks really good on this banner I think in my opinion except uh, I don't like how it, there's a lot down here so I'm just gonna oh, I'm just gonna erase some of it down here like that so yeah that's pretty cool I like that so there you go that's this is the first example of some filter style or of a filter style you can see kind of is over here as well and I don't know I just think this looks really nice on a lot of banners um, I believe Rated has been doing this a lot lately. Uh, his banners look really sick with it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna delete that and duplicate the background layer again. And now we're gonna go to Fragment, and this is one that I used before on uh, my Chudy Techie banner tutorial. Um, and this is go to Pixelate and then Fragment. And this is a simple one. It creates this cool fragment blur thing, and you just need to erase some spots and keep it in others so I like to keep it uh, predominantly in brighter spots not the whole thing but like some of it so like that and erase that and then just get rid of it there so I have it like here and I just I just think that looks super sick um, I don't know why but I, I, I just think it looks cool um, it's very subtle you kind of don't really notice it but it has good effect um, you don't have to do this one by itself, like you can add more. I, I do this for like every banner basically. It's one of my blurs that I've incorporated in. Um, I think it just looks really nice. So yeah, that is the other way. All right, the third way, we're gonna again delete the layer, duplicate the background layer, and we're gonna go to filter, and we're gonna go to stylize, and there's a few options for this. Um, you wanna go to wind, and there's three settings you can have. You can have wind, blast, or stagger. And personally, I like wind the best, the first one, the, the default one, and you can pick which direction you want. I usually go right from left, or right to left, or yeah, right to left. Um, I think that looks better on a lot of things, and uh, 
I don't like things left to right because I don't know, it's stupid. Um, but I mean, it, it'd work. But I don't even know what I'm saying. This is retarded. But all right. So uh, the blast, uh, I feel like that's too overwhelming and it doesn't look good in many cases. And then the stagger, I don't think looks good. It's just kind of like a distort kind of thing. But the wind looks really nice, I think. So I'm gonna go with that. Click OK. You can see it just kind of, I don't know, how, it just, it basically is wind. It's like wind is acting on the actual image itself. And you can see it looks really good in the bright spots, uh, like right there. It looks good. And then right there, I think it looks amazing. Um, I'm just gonna erase the darker spots because it kind of just blurs them out a bit. Um, so like there. And yeah, so that's the third one. And the final one I showed in another tutorial. Um, but this one, it's it, it's hit or miss in a lot of cases. Um, some banners it'll look really good, some banners will look awful, and it really depends on your settings and how you get this to work. But we're gonna duplicate this banner, or the background, and we're gonna go to Filter, um, Pixelate, Mosaic, and as you can see, um, and just, you leave it on 20, as you can see it's squared, now like they're in squares but if I zoom out real quick if I go to control T and I believe if I go to the angle if I go to 45 oh no that's not it the height I believe is that it 45 yeah okay if I go to the H I guess that's height I don't know horizontal maybe yeah horizontal if I go to 45 there hit enter hit enter again I guess and then if I duplicate this hit T and then right click horizontal or oh, right click flip horizontal hit enter again and then if I put these both at 50 opacity you get this really cool triangular blur as you can see um, I guess I it's not like exactly triangles but it's like I mean I, I guess you can consider it triangular blur um, but it's like a really neat blur. It's not something you'd see all the time. So if I then, if I right click and then merge the layers and you can just blur out where it doesn't look that great. So like there, I guess. Looks pretty cool over here. Something like that. All right. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, it's like a, it's a cool blur. It's a unique blur. Um, I think it looks pretty awesome, but, um, that's basically those are ones that I use. Um, there's plenty of filters you can mess around. You can always go to the filter gallery. Um, I don't really mess around with that stuff because it usually doesn't work with what I'm trying to go with. But I know a lot of people that use various filter gallery settings. And then there's other uh, pixelate um, settings that you can mess with. You can mess with some noise things. I've seen that done. And then the stylized, you can probably mess around with these. I don't really do that but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it's pretty simple but I hope you learned a few things that you may have not learned before and if you like this banner right here this isn't the full banner uh, I added more effects and stuff um, but if you like this banner and you're interested in, in having one uh, you can of course buy one off of me um, my weekend sales are I only I sell banners for only ten dollars and then I'm also doing a giveaway on my last upload, which was the speed art for this banner. So if you're interested in winning that, all you have to do is go and like the video and share it on Twitter and then comment on what color you'd want below and then you get it. But that's on the other video. The link for that will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching again and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.